guess what today is? Today is the day we're going to pick the name of the Kasori winner. Now, I had a dilemma, and when they send me the list, I says, okay, so obviously I'm going to have to print this list, but before I print this list, I'm going to have to fix it so I could double space it. And I says, oh, what a job that's going to be because everything was so close together. I says, if I'm going to print it, I'm going to have to pull out the names on, like, pull out a name the way I'm going to be doing today. But I says, that's going to be way too much work. And then I realized I ran out of ink. And I says, oh, my God, got to hold the Kasori. And I says, maybe I should just do my URL of my video, whoever put their name on YouTube. But I says, is that going to be fair? No, that's not going to be fair because I told people they had to go to the Kasori website to put their name in. So I sat there, thought about it, and then I realized that all the names were numbered. So I says, that's it. Instead of having to write down all the names, I am going to write down just the number. I did it by hand. And this way I use less paper because I hate wasting paper. That's why I do the automatic generator. But I says, you know what, I'm going to write down the numbers, use up less paper, and then I'm going to match the number to the name of the that's on the list that they sent me. So I did figure out a solution. Took me the day to figure out because, you know, sometimes my head's a little crowded with too many things that I've got to do. But I figured it out. So this is going to be a lot easier to do. And so I am going to fold these up and then give it a good shake. So even if you see the number, you don't know which one you are. Isn't that exciting? So I'm almost done. So tell me, guys, what are you doing for the holidays? Have you done all your Christmas shopping? While I'm folding this, we can just maybe talk about something, anything. I know that I'm almost done. Not completely done with the shopping, but I'm almost done. Uh, there's a lot of wrapping to do, and still there's a few shopping things, a few things I have to still go out and get. I did do a lot of online shopping this year because it just made my life easy with making videos for you guys and everything that just comes with life. So I did do a lot of online shopping which saved me a great deal of time where I didn't have to run out and go to the shopping. Yes, I did miss all the lights and the decorations that you get to see when you do go out shopping. But it did make my life a little easier. But I'm not finished yet. So how about you guys? What are you doing for the holiday? Are you staying in town? Are you going out of town? Have you done your shopping yet? Are you like last minute like most people are i know i am always out the last minute i still have to fi figure out some kind of menu for the eve always do the traditional stuff but maybe i'll go a little lighter this year and not so crazy since it's only me erica and my husband my daughter's going over to her mother-in-law's so maybe I'm going to just do something very simple and not go crazy because there's always leftover food and then you got to finish eating that food and I'm not going to tell you what happens to our butt ends, especially when there's way too much food. But yeah, what are you guys are going to do for the holidays and how fast did Christmas come? Dear God, I am so like, I'm still like in shock on how fast this holiday arrived. I was just like picking mushrooms like a week ago. It felt like a week ago. <laughs> but yeah, summer really jumped. It just went. Summer was just way too fast for my liking. And it's not that I don't like winter. I love winter. I love when it snows out and it's all white and glistery and beautiful. But I'm not crazy about the cold, that's for sure. I hurt myself. And I'm wearing a glove so this way I don't make anything go on food. And this glove is way too tight, as you can tell. I bought a, a set of small 
that oh man these were made for kids i think really really small because i have very skinny thin hands but these gloves are like really really tiny i'm almost done guys so what i'm going to do is i'm going to give these a good shake sorry for all the small talk but i wanted to explain to you why i'm doing it this way only because i could have gone through my video and you know i did speak to kasori they said yeah go ahead do it that way but then i said oh what happens if somebody went to the kasori website and they didn't comment under my video then you know they're gonna lose a chance in winning this beautiful prize because I did say that we were going to do it off the Kasori website. I just had to figure a way how to get the names out to you. And because people put their real name and not their YouTube name, what I'm going to do is I'm going to quickly hide the email addresses so nobody gets to see your email. And we're going to match the number to the name. And then I will also email you, I will announce it in the, uh, the, in the video, but then I will email you privately. This way you get an email from me confirming that you are the winner. So I think this is the best way to do it. Then I have a nice recipe I'm going to show you. We're going to make some pizza with potatoes, guys. And I'm not saying potato on top. Or maybe we'll put some potato on top. We'll see. Depends what mood I get into. But we're going to put potato right in the dough. In Italy, they do it that way. There's a place in Italy where they make sweets with potato in their dough. They make bread with potato in their dough. And that's what we're going to do today. Well... Hopefully you'll get to see it in a couple of days, <laughs> but I will be making it today. This video will be out today. God willing, you'll have the we'll have the winner announced today. Okay, so here are all the names. There was I think ninety five people who entered, so they're all in here. And like I said, I picked the number to make my life easier. Otherwise, it would be just way too much paper and way too much work to try and separate those names because they were cramped up. And if I was going to print it out that way, uh, there was no way I was going to be able to cut the paper. Then I found out I had no ink, so everything's handwritten. So, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to pick one number, and I won't even know who it is because all I have is a number. And then we're going to go to my computer desk, and I'm going to put on my... Um, recording uh, I'm going to record my screen so I'm going to say good luck everyone I'm tossing and turning here I want to give it a good toss and we're going to have a winner in no time at all okay so here we go guys this is the first part I am going to pick one which one do I pick Right or left? I'm going to do left. And the winner is, this is only part one, guys. The winner is number 40. So let's go see who is the winner. Let's go, guys. Okay, guys, here we are. I just want to show you there is the number 40 who is the winner. And now... I am going to press record so you get to see my screen when I check out the list. Okay, so we are here. Now I am going to uh, see who number 40 belongs to. Uh, when you get to see the screen, I uh, you're going to lose a couple of seconds because... I do not want you to see the email addresses because it's not fair to get everybody's email address out there on, on the web. So all you're going to see is the list, but you're going to see right there, it's blanked out. There you go. That's blanked out. Did I press record? Yes, it's recording. So let me bring that down. So this is 
private emails. I don't want anybody to see it. Here is my list. Here is my list. One all the way down to uh, down to 95, I think. There is 95. So those are the people that did go to Kasori to enter for this giveaway. And what a great giveaway it is. It really is something impressive and something amazing. So let's go find number 40. Let's just make this a little smaller. Okay, so number 40. Here we go. Number 40 is Joanne. Joanne is from Canada. Congratulations, Joanne. You are the winner of the Kasori pressure cooker. It's a pressure cooker. It's a slow cooker. It's a fast cooker. You name it. This pressure cooker is pretty amazing. It does a lot of, it has a lot of great features. So you are the lucky winner. Now I do have your email address that I will personally email you. So you could give me, uh, you can give me your, uh, your information where Kasori can send it to you. And again, congratulations to you, Joanne. And I'm sorry, guys. I know a lot of you were hoping to get this uh, pressure cooker. But I will put a couple of links where you could go and pick one up for a pretty good price, especially around the holiday time. So I'm going to say again, congratulations. Look under my description. There's going to be a couple of a uh, couple of addresses where you could go see if you could, if you really want to pick one up. But again, congratulations, Joanne. You are the winner. And guess what, guys? I've got some great recipes for you. And there's going to be more give, uh, giveaways for you guys. So thank you again for always being part of my channel. And I want to say I love you all. And Joanne, congratulations. I'll see you guys in my next video. For more videos like this, make sure to subscribe to Connie's Rawsome Kitchen. Give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends.